All right, Shalom. First off, and give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakudas. We give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing again, pushing his work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, we're going to go on, on this video, okay, that the USA is Babylon the Great, okay, according to the Bible. Okay, and that's um from the book of uh Revelation 17 and 1, and it says, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will, it says, I will show you, I will show unto you the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters, right? And when you look at um, America, okay, as many waters, okay, um, across it, okay, um, you have the Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic Ocean, okay, Pacific Ocean, okay, now, when we go on to, uh, the, the whore, okay, let's get this word, whore, okay, in the um the greek okay one who sells her body for use okay um a prostitute a harlot one who yields herself to defilement for the sake of gain a woman indulging in unla unlawful sexual intercourse whether for gain or for lust of babylon i.e rome the chief seat of idolatry now america is rome all over again okay with um, NATO and the EU, this this whole system is, you know, built off of, you know, those Roman principles, okay? And as far as, you know, the, um, the whore, there are a lot of um, imports, okay, that come here to this land, okay? Um, there are a lot of people who come to this land, okay? Many different you know, nationalities, okay, which a lot of people don't know what, what the word nationality mean, okay, and that's why we, you know, are set up to do what we do, okay, <clears throat> now America, USA is not really technically an, um, a nation, Okay, let's get this word nation. Okay, and it says a large body of people united by common descent, right? And a lot of people who have different descent here in America, um, common history, people who have different history here in America. Okay, a common culture, there are different cultures here. Language, there are different languages. It says, uh, inhabiting a particular country or territory, okay? This place is not a nation, okay? A nation goes, the word nation goes back to, you know, a tribe, a particular people, okay? This place is, is not a... a a nation, okay? Now, when you look up the word tribe, right? The same thing. It says a social division in a traditional society consisting of families or communities linked by social, economic, religious, or blood ties with a common culture and dialect typically having a recognized leader. Now, <laughs> Who is the so-called leader here in America? The president, right? Everybody, you know, doesn't necessarily subscribe to what the president, you know, says. But different um, cities, different states have different leaders and stuff like that. You got mayors, governors. Okay. So, you know, this place is not a nation. Okay. Okay. As much as they want to call this a, a nation, 
it's not a, a nation. They call it the United States of America. Okay, and all the different countries, the, uh, the states have different laws. Okay, that they abide by. It says, um, the whore that sits um, upon many waters, right? Scripture's going to go into that. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Okay. Let's get this word fornication because a lot of people don't know the meaning of words. Okay. To prostitute one body to the lust of another, right? A lot of these businesses, okay, a lot of these other countries, they bring over their imports because they trade with this place. America is really just a business at the end of the day, okay? But America allows these different foreign um I'm not sure what what your what word to use, but they they allow these different foreign foreigners, you know, to come in and you know set up shop here, okay, and they're able to be rich, you know, just from off of you know having a, a business here, you know. Um, and it says to give one's self to unlawful sexual intercourse, right? It says to commit fornication. Metaphor to be given to idolatry, to worship idols, to permit oneself to be drawn away by another into idolatry. And a lot of people in these other countries, they love America, okay, because of, you know, the fact that they are able to get rich, you know, off of this place, okay? It says, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made, made drunk with the wine of her fornication because a lot of people look at America. And this is this is a, a a wicked place, is the scriptures you know uh, say, and you know just looking at you know how America you know is ran, how it started, okay. But um, you have the the alphabet community, you know, going crazy, okay. And that's where, cause the 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 king of Babylon is none other than Esau, which is, you know, predominantly the so-called white man, okay? But that's where the book of uh, Habakkuk um, 2, and uh, I start at 4, it says, Yet beh behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, right? It was talking about Esau, it says, But the just shall live by his faith. Yet also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keeps at home, who enlarges his desire is hell, and is is death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathers onto him all nations, and heaps onto him all people. Okay, and it says, so not all these take up a parable against him, and a taunting proverb against him, and say, woe unto him that increases that which is not his, and how, how long? It says to him that ladens himself with thick clay. And when you go into that word thick clay, okay, in the book of uh, Habakkuk 2, when you go into that word thick clay, it says uh, weight of pledges, um, heavy depths. Okay, so America is in a heavy debt that they will never be able to pay off. Okay, look at the the national debt clock. Okay, <laughs> which it goes up every second. Okay, U.S. Um, national debt is $31 trillion, okay, and there is the um, U.S. total debt 
okay, which is 94, 94 trillion, okay, this is a debt that's going up, you know, every second, okay, and it, it's never going any, you know, it's not going down, this debt is not, they're not, it's, <laughs> it's crazy, you know, how much all this stuff, you know, um, is, you know, it says how, how many people are here, okay, how many people are unemployed, how many people are employed, okay, um, but, yeah, this, this place, oh, it says how many people are living in poverty, okay, bankruptcies, okay, foreclosures, okay, But this this place, you know, in every every city, every um, state, okay, has a particular um, amount of debt that they are in too. Okay, different countries are in debt, but we we're talking about America, which you know is talking about a thick, thick, uh, thick clay, which is the heavy debt. Okay, that they're never going to be able to pay off okay it says so he carried me away revelation 17 and 3 so he carried me away into the spirit into the in the spirit into the wilderness and i saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns right and it's talking about nato Okay. Um, it says, um, in you know, NATO and the EU, um, it says, um, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness. Of her fornication, and upon her forehead was a name written, mystery. Right, because it's not known onto the world that you know what this place actually is, according to the Bible. Mystery Babylon the Great. The word Babylon means confusion. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Okay, if you can think about something that you know is wicked more than likely is being done here okay it says and i saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of yahweh right when i saw her i wondered with great admiration because the the thing is this we're coming upon the time with which you know john the revelator when he wrote this he was speaking about a time, you know, where the saints are going to end up being, you know, put to death out here because of this place. They don't want this truth being put out there. OK. But. um, I'm going to jump down to. OK. Uh. I'm going to jump down to the 14th verse. It says, uh, these shall make war with the lamb, right? Was this talking about um, NATO, the EU, anywhere with the so-called white man, okay, uh, rain, okay? He's going to try to fight the Lord when he comes come back, okay? The Lord is, is the lamb, okay? It says, and the lamb shall overcome him, overcome them, okay, during the, the time of the second coming. Okay, it says, and let's see what this word lamb says when you go into it. A little lamb, lamb, i.e., it says Christ, which is in the Hebrew, Hamashiach. Okay, so the lamb is, is the Lord. Okay. And, and it says, and the lamb, which is the Lord, so overcome them, for he is the Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called 
and chosen and faithful. Okay, which that's talking about the elect, those men, okay, that, and you know, the elect, a part of the elect is, is the woman too, okay, but the, the, the ones who have chanted down this place, okay, the ones who was given the grace, okay, the gift, you know, of uh, faith, okay, and the, the gift of being saved, it says, and he saith unto me, the woman, the waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Okay. So once again, this place is not a nation. There are different nationalities within this country, but this place is not a nation. And the tongues is, is different languages as you see right here in the NLT. Okay. But there are, uh, it says the water where the prostitute is ruling represent masses of people of every nation and language. And when you're going to <laughs> looking at any other country, no other country is, you know, has the amount of people and the, the amount that America has of, you know, the different nationalities. You go to another country, you're going to see people that look more like, you know, the people that's of that region. Okay, but here, you walk down the street, you see many different people, okay, depending on what city or, you know, state you're in, okay, and it says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, right, these so hate the whore and so make her desolate and naked, okay, and that's the, the American allies, okay, it says, and so eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And that's thermonuclear missiles. Okay. For God has put it put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Okay. So the fate of America is is written in the scriptures is that it's going to be destroyed. Okay. This is um, Psalm 137 and uh, start at 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the chosen of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation of thereof, right? And they destroyed you know, our homeland, okay, they destroyed our um, our people, okay, took our heritage away from us, okay. It says, O daughter of Babylon, right, because you had ancient Babylon, but then you have modern Babylon, which is America. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewards you as thou hast rewarded us, Okay. And when we go into Revelation 18, where it talks about the fall of Babylon. Okay. This is uh, Revelation 18 and uh, 2. It says, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen, which is talking about America. It says, It's fallen is, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Okay. So after this place is um, destroyed. <coughs> you're going to have many different creatures. That are going to be living here. Okay. It is the book of um, Isaiah 13. And um. I'm starting 19. It says, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, right? All these different nations love this place, right? It says the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You 
can read the Bible about what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay, fire came down from heaven. Okay, but this time it's going to be thermonuclear missiles. It says, and it, it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. So nobody's going to live here again. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But the wild beast of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satire shall dance there. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate places, and dragons in their pleasant places, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. Okay, so once this place is destroyed with thermonuclear missiles, you're going to have a lot of different, you know, animals, vultures, okay, um, different, you know, um, animals that, <clears throat> you know, they're going to have a feast, okay. Let me see if I can find that scripture. There's a scripture somewhere that says that the Lord has um is preparing a feast for the um the animals. Okay. <clears throat> but um keep going. Uh it says for all nations have drunk of the wine, wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy okay and i heard an, another voice and when you look at you know that scripture as well you know you have a lot of you know wicked people here okay all different type of you know demons you know are here in america OK, but it says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sin and that you receive not of her plague. So when the Lord returns, it's going to call his people up, OK, to uh, be delivered. OK, and his elect are not going to be destroyed with this place once it's destroyed. You got a lot of people here that are just acting a goddamn fool. Okay, and they're going to be destroyed. Okay, but the, the elect are not, you know, fooled. They're not confused. Okay, from all of this, you know, madness out here. Okay, so they're going to be delivered. Okay, from the destruction of this place. It says, for her sins have reached unto heaven and God has remembered her iniquities. Right, and there's a lot of iniquities here. Okay. In, in, in the future, it's going to be even worse, okay? The scripture says a time like never before. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works, and the cup which she has filled her, filled to her double, okay? So, it says, uh, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her for her. she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and so she no sorrow. Therefore so her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine and she shall utterly be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the Lord God who judged her, judges her. Okay, so when the Lord, you know, when this is judgment day, America being destroyed, okay, and the centers of, <laughs> of, of, of the people, especially, you know, Israelites are going to be, you know, two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed with this place. 
but one third are going to be delivered. Okay. And that's all going to happen. And, um, I mean, it's going to be a build up. You're going to have different, you know, events going on. Okay. World War three and all that. Okay. Here on the soils of America, you're going to have, you know, different wars here. Okay. But the ultimate, um, judgment is this place being destroyed. Okay. And, this, and, and the smoke of this place, you know, when it's destroyed, going up for a long time. Okay. So that's the judgment of America, Babylon the Great. Okay. Which is, um, according to the Bible, man. Okay. So Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to say shalom until next time.